time for periodontics is much more than just a replacement for the paper chart. It is a comprehensive clinical information system that provides quick and easy ways of creating chart entries, referral reports, and patient information documents without typing or dictation, thus saving you time and expense. It will serve your clinical staff's needs for record keeping just as your practice management software serves the administrative needs of your front office. When first viewing a patient's chart in time, you are presented with an overview of the patient's current status. In the upper left area, you see patient identifying information, including the name of their referring dentist. Next to this, you see the treatment plans that are in progress. Those items which have been done are shown in gray. Those items yet to be provided are in black. Here we see a list of medications that have been prescribed for this patient. Next to that is a list of alerts, items that we would like to be aware of to more comfortably and safely treat this patient. Immediately below that is a summary of the patient's general health information, next to which is a list of any and all documents that have been created in the time application for this patient. Not just letters and reports, but informational items given to the patient, chart notes, forms, questionnaires. There are more than 200 templates for different documents in the time application. Here we see an overview of the patient's dental status, missing teeth, restorations that have been placed, prosthodontics that's in place, all in accord with the legend that you see right here. And in the lower left corner, we see a list of all previous patient sessions, patient encounters with the procedures that have been provided during those encounters. A nice overview of the patient when first sitting down and beginning to treat them. Times Rapid Writer makes use of procedure-specific forms, which allow you to create chart entries without typing or the use of a keyboard. To create chart notes for a patient's care, there are over 40 procedure-specific forms that function much like a restaurant menu. They are subdivided first into categories. We can first select the category and then the specific procedure that we have performed today. For example, let's go into a connective tissue graft. Here you can see the first section of the connective tissue graft procedure form. Just as we would choose appetizers, first courses, main courses, desserts, etc. in a restaurant, here we see the various steps in this particular procedure laid out and displayed on these various tab headings. So for example, we may very well want to identify where we have done this connective tissue graph today. To do that, we merely click on this term and identify the sites where we have provided that care. We may want to show some indications for this procedure as well as document what we feel our goals for this procedure might be. Next we might go on and start describing the surgical procedure we performed. How did I perform the recipient bed preparation? What did I do to the root surface? Did I detoxify it with anything? How long did I apply that? Where did I harvest my graft from? Was it an average normal thickness graft, or was it thinner or thicker than normal? Intraoperative findings would be where I might identify those unusual circumstances that I ran into during the graft, such as dehiscence of the alveolar housing over a particular site. Next, I would want to document my wound closure and how I sutured. I can choose various different types of suture methods, materials, even the sizes of the materials. I might want to identify anything that was necessary to provide hemostasis for this patient, or what I used to cover the surgical site. These are multiple choice list boxes. How much local anesthetic did I use? Well, I can put down that I use so many carpules of this particular medication or anesthetic and so much of this one. Again, what type of injections did I give and where? 
I might have given infiltrations in an area, but again, I may have given various types of block injections for other types of procedures. Finally, I might want to make some notes about the status of this patient when I discharged them and items that I may very well have dispensed to them. And if there is anything unusual that I'd like to say, there are various places in these forms in which you can type in additional comments. Now again, back to the restaurant analogy, I have just made the selection for my meal. I've made the selection for what I would like to be described in my chart notes. Waiter, bring me my meal. I click on chart notes and the rapid writer in time compiles my selections into the document that you see on the screen. I can go through this document. I can take certain items that I do not wish to include and delete them. I can go ahead and type in additional statements if I wish to. Rapid Writer allows you to convert your chart notes into a variety of letters and reports instantly. Time's built-in word processor makes for easy editing of these reports in addition to adding images such as radiographs or digital photographs. You may then choose to print or directly email the report from time. Chart notes become a basis for our letter and to create our letter we merely go to this button and click on New Document. That brings up this window listing all of the 200 plus templates that are in time. In this case we're going to write a periodontal surgical report so we would make that selection. We now have the opportunity to decide what type of letter we're going to write. Is it going to be a brief letter or a very comprehensive full letter? We can make either of those selections or we can do a customized one-off letter selecting the particular categories of information to include. But I'm just going to write a brief letter. So with two mouse clicks and the OK button, Times Rapid Writer produces the letter on screen for us. Again, we have all the editing capabilities that we would expect of a word processor. We can add items to this. We can delete items. We can bold items. We can even add images. For example, I'm going to click a site right down here below chlorhexidine. I'm going to come up to this image frame maker. And I'm going to go ahead now and size that frame to the shape of the image that I'm going to incorporate. I'm going to go out. I'm going to search my image database for those images that I took today of that CT graft and I'm going to select the image that I want and paste it in there. It's that simple. We can add as many images as we wish. We can add clinical camera images. We can certainly add digital radiographs as well. The power of time to simply create letters and reports. Times Periodontal Chart provides comprehensive information displayed both numerically in spreadsheets, as you see at the top and bottom of this view, or graphically on the tooth chart that you see in the center of the view. You can customize the path for entering data, as well as select a variety of features as to how you wish information to be displayed or compiled. Time will dynamically calculate the percentage of sites with bleeding and separation, such as you see over here. It will allow you to enter the clinical attachment levels, or it can be set up to automatically calculate clinical attachment loss. It provides a simple but accurate method for assessing the patient's plaque control effectiveness, really by checking areas, as you see me doing right here, and it will calculate a score. Alveolar bone and gingival masks can be turned on and off to focus a patient's attention on a particular problem set. For example, I might turn gingiva off and have the patient concentrate on how their pockets are invading the bone and jeopardizing the support of these teeth in the upper posterior area that you see here. Or I might turn bone off and turn gingiva on and talk to the patient about the extent of recession on this buccal pocket on this maxillary canine, how far above it is of the normal location for gingival tissue. 
In addition, depending upon the ambient light in my operatory, the sunshine might be brightly showing in the afternoon. It might be advantageous for me to switch the background to a darker color so that the patient or I can better visualize the data. As you can see, edentulous areas and implant sites are readily visualized in the tooth graphic. This chart can easily be sent to a printer with one mouse click, or in addition, it can be exported and sent via email.